Hello friends, today we are going to talk about the rural development and role of government in the progress of rural India. This topic is covered in the UPSC GS paper 2 syllabus. Please note that the terms and the acronyms used in this topic will also be asked in the preliminary examination as well. India is a country of contrasts where the rapid economic growth will coexist with the persistent poverty and social problems. This is significant because the rural areas house about 75% of the population of the India. The updated National Multidimensional Poverty Index, which is released by Niti Aayog, explains that the rural areas undergoes transformative journey which is marked by commandable decline in the multidimensional poverty comparing to 2015-16 to 2020 to 21. The National Multipoverty Index is measured on the basis of two components. One is on the intensity of the poverty and the other is the incidence of poverty. The incidence of poverty mentions the percentage of people who are poor and the intensity of poverty uh, mentions the average depreciation score of the poor. The Niti Aayog says that the incidence of poverty fell from 24% to 14% during this period of time. Similarly, in rural areas also, the significant decline of poverty from 32% to 19% is witnessed. Let us see the signs of improvement in the rural living standards. Number 1. Enhancing housing infrastructure. It has been noted that there is an increase in paka and semi paka houses which signifies the better living conditions in rural areas. The Pradhan Mandri, a Gramin Avas Yojana, also provide for the availability of rural housing. Number two is the improved sanitation of the facilities. Due to the greater availability of toilets, there is a decrease in the open defecation. And also uh, due to the implementation of the Swetch Bharat mission in Gramin areas by the government, there is an improved sanitation and hygienic. Number three, extended electricity access. There is an improvement in the electricity connectivity in rural areas which enables the better educational outcome and enhanced quality of life. The Pradhan Mandri Sahaj Bijli Hargar Yojana Saubhagya has been launched to enhance the rural electrification. Number 4. Clean Cooking Fuel Adoption It has been noted that there is an increase in the usage of clean cooking gas in the rural households. This aspect not only reduces indoor hair pollution but also positively impacts the health and the overall well-being of the women. Under the Pratan Mandri Ujwala Yojana, uh, the LPG connections have been provided to the BPL families of the rural areas. Number 5 is the educational and social empowerment. There is a rising on the participation of girls in the education and which contributes for the gender parity and inclusive development. Number 6, diversification of income sources. The rural areas have witnessed increase of income from non-form employment opportunities. This is the positive step because it reduces the sole dependence on the agriculture and also enhances the financial stability and resilience of the farmers. The schemes like Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employee Guarantee Scheme and the National Rural a livelihood mission scheme also increases the financial stability of the farmers in rural areas. The government also had in recent past strengthened the public distribution system by streamlining the distribution by using smart cards and also blocking the existing leakages present in the distribution network. Despite all these developments, there exist some challenges in the rural areas. We will see what are those. They are number one poverty and inequality. There exists high level of income disparity between the rural areas and urban areas which hamper the equitable development of the country. Secondly, agricultural distress. The sole dependence on agriculture exposes rural communities to the risk of natural calamities and market fluctuations. This is furthered by fragmented land holdings, inadequate irrigation and outdated farm practices as well. Thirdly, underemployment. The seasonal unemployment or underemployment is highly present in agricultural sector which is putting farmers in high financial risk. Fourthly, infrastructural gaps. Despite all this development, there exist gaps in the rural areas like road connectivity and limitation to the telecommunications and access to the internet etc. Lastly, migration. The rural areas experience high rate of out migration. This is resulting in labor shortages. Let us see the possible solution to address these issues. Focus should be given for the skill development and the increase of entrepreneurial opportunities in the rural areas. The promotion of micro enterprise in rural areas will reduce the migration of people. The steps should be taken to bring in more technology to bridge the gaps existing between internet connectivity and the online market access. 
द गवर्मेंट शुड डिवाइस पॉलिसी स्पेसिफिकली टू टारगेट दि रूरल चेलेंजस् लाइक डिजिटल डिपेडेंसी द गवर्मेंट शुड आलसो एनहां कोलाब्रेशन वित् गवर्मेंट एजेंसी एन जी ओ प्राइवेट सेक्टर्स अंड कम्यूनिटी फॉर स्टेबल सोल्यूशन द गवर्मेंट शुड एम टू इम्प्लीमेंट दि मॉनिटरी सिस्टम टू असस् दि प्रोग्रेसिव इनिशियेटिव अंड फैंड ट्यून दि स्ट्राटी फैनली अडीनल फंड शुड बी अलाटेड टू द रूरल एरिया फॉर बिल्डिंग स्ट्रांगर पास्पर इनक्लूसिव ग्रोथ विच विल मेक् इंडिया ए सूपर ग्लोबल पवर् Thank you